We have a little bit of snow in the forecast for tomorrow. Now, how much snow will fall this winter season? Let's take a look at our winter forecast. Last winter's snowfall will be remembered for many reasons. They all thought I was crazy. It was perfect to build a 12-foot snowman. The natural snow is kind of fluffier. It was more fun on the slopes at our local ski area, Snow Creek, and a business bonanza for cab drivers willing to drive on bad roads. All I can tell you is that... My sister cannot get out of here. But for others? There's a lot of complaints, a lot of problems. And no wonder, 44 inches of snow fell in a dozen storms last winter, starting with the first inch December 9th and ending four months later with the last winter storm March 19th and 20th. And our weather team accurately predicted all 12 storms. Just how accurate was our forecast? I'd give them an A. Well, the mayor was really talking about his street crews, but we'll take that A2 because this has to mean more snow. Using the LRC, we predicted that some spots may see more than 32 inches of snow. We also predicted at least two of those major snowstorms would dump a half a foot or more. That after going five years without even one storm producing that much. I don't expect a major ice storm. And fortunately, there weren't any major ice storms last winter. This season, La Nina is strengthening across the tropical Pacific waters. The sister of its more famous sibling, El Nino, La Nina is really the exact opposite. And this will have at least a slight impact on our winter as it interacts with the LRC, which is what we use in making this winter forecast. Here is what we are seeing this season in this complex LRC puzzle. Three parts, one-third of the equation is a storm trough diving down through the Great Lakes, providing storm systems and cold blasts through the Great Lakes, but for us, dry weather. Another third of the puzzle is energy coming across the Pacific Ocean, creating storm systems in California, Washington, and Oregon, but for us, warmer weather and dry again. So two-thirds of this year's pattern dry, but there's another third that we have to watch closely as the flow amplifies, leaving energy over the southwestern part of the country. And every once in a while, this energy will get picked up and brought out into the Plain States, and this could create a major ice storm, a few chances for snow, but a lot lower potential than last winter. We are forecasting long dry spells. We have already had two 15-day dry spells, big warming trends, two or three Arctic outbreaks with the strongest one more likely in late January or early February. There will be an increased chance of one major ice storm. Temperatures will be near average and precipitation below average. We will not have 12 winter storms like last year. I am expecting only six or eight opportunities for snow this winter season, maybe. For this reason, we are predicting significantly less snow in our region. In fact, 31 inches less than last year. Our snowfall forecast is for 8 to 18 inches of snow across the viewing area. And for Kansas City, 13 inches of snow. As we said, that's 31 inches lower than last year. We just don't see many storm systems. There is still yet to be a big one showing up at all. Tomorrow it might snow, but still it looks like it's going to be a lot lower. Okay, right. well, that's kind of good in yeah. a lot of ways. The ice storm, though, don't like to hear that. Yeah, there's a, the conditions just look like we'll have at least one this year. Hopefully it won't be a major one. All I right. said there's a chance of that, though. Trim that's your trees this weekend. All, all right. right. Thank you, Gary. Thanks. You're welcome.